When we say animals, we think of dogs and cats and cows, but animals is also insects, corals, and sponges. I don't think that a sponge has love for its children, but many mammals certainly have deep emotional bonds that we would call love. Famiglia, amicizia, amore o la perdita di qualcuno che ami. I nostri valori non sono così diversi da quelli degli altri animali. These emotions that you're talking about are shared by some other species. Dogs have strong emotional bonds. Dogs can be excited or happy, sad or depressed. They can, they certainly have a sense of loyalty. We had a pair of ducks. One day, the male, he died. The female, for days, went all around, calling and calling and calling. This is not an elephant or a whale or something with a huge brain. It's a duck, but the bond is very important in their lives. When we talk about love, we always say that what does love look like? Love is shown by the desire to be close to the loved one. Our dogs, for instance, they like being near us. They sleep in our bedroom. They can sleep anywhere in the house, but they come up to be near us. We never give them any kind of a treat or a reward for being there other than we pet them. They have a desire to be near us. Is friendship also also a sacred value as we humans in the other species. Some species have what you would call friendships where just certain individuals or certain families get along or like to be with each other more than they have to be. They just have certain individuals or certain other families that they prefer to hang out with, whatever that means. <laughs> After all, <laughs> thinking about the grief, which is something that many studied in the animal world. Is there any yeah. example? so that you can tell us. Let's start with human grief, which we understand. We're upset because an individual who is very important in our life is not there anymore. We can see in many other animals that when an individual that is important to them vanishes or dies, they respond to it in an emotional way. Often they will not do the normal things that they do every day for several days. They won't eat. They won't go to the same place. A baby elephant loses their mother. Sometimes they will just shut down and die from apparent emotional grief, not a physical lack. Kodami is very important because we just need a lot more understanding and a lot more compassion. If we extended our compassion to other species, we would be a lot better to one another as well.